Good morning, everybody. This morning's Mass shall be offered for Shirley Morelli, Parish Intention. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty and ever-living God, I draw near to the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the position of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the light of eternal brightness, poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. So I ask you, most generous Lord, graciously heal my infirmity, wash me clean, illumine my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings and Lord of lords, with such reverence and humility, with such contrition and devotion, such purity and faith, such resolve and determination, as may secure my soul's salvation. Grant as I may receive not only the visible sign of the Lord's body and blood, but also all the reality and power of the sacrament. Grant, most kind God, that I may receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, which he received from the Virgin Mary, and may receive it in such a way that I may become a living part of his mystical body and count among his members. O most loving Father, grant me your beloved Son, while on earth, while on this earthly pilgrimage, I receive him under the veil of the sacrament. So may I come at last to see him face to face for all eternity, for he lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. My purpose is to celebrate Mass, to make present the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to the rite of the Holy Roman Church, to the praise of our all-powerful God and all his assembly in the glory of heaven. For my good and good of all his pilgrim church on earth, for all who have asked me to pray for them in general, and in particular for the good of the Holy Roman Church. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us joy and peace, amendment of life, room for true repentance, the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, and perseverance in good works. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with light a lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who sent, who sent St. Catherine of Siena, on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria 
and proclaim the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in the city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing, shout joyfully to the Lord, to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glor glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through, through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to your Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him. On the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today the church celebrates the feast of Saint Catherine of Siena, the great third order Dominican virgin and mystic and doctor of the church, who is known for her profound mystical visions, for her love of the contemplative life the love, love and service of the poor and needy, and whose holiness became renowned within the life of the church at a very young age. She would help motivate the Holy Father to return to Rome from Avignon, France. And sometimes she would be very critical of the Holy Father, but always in a respectful and charitable way. And in some of her correspondence, she spoke strong language. Something that defined St. Catherine of Siena's life was her love of Christ. At the age of 21, she underwent a mystical marriage with Christ, especially after she endured some hardship from her family. They wanted to marry her off to marry um, her sister's widow but she refused. What defined Catherine's life was her love of Christ, was her trust in Christ. And that is why the Lord, through his grace and through the particular calling he gave Catherine, espoused himself to her. That espousal 
is something that we are all called to share in, in varying ways, by the fact of our baptism, and also by the fact that when we receive the Holy Eucharist, we receive a, what St. Thomas says, a pledge of future glory. Jesus, in the Bread of Life discourse, tells us, I am the bread of life. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. So what defines Jesus's relationship to the Father and to us is love. And it's by the power of that love that he raises us up, not only from the dead, not only from our sins, not only will he raise us up bodily at the last day, but he will espouse us to him. The pledge of future glory that is the Mass is that it's a wedding feast and a wedding sacrifice. It's both and. So we pray to St. Catherine of Siena at this Mass, that through her intercession and through the Eucharist and our spiritual communion that we make with our Lord, that he may lift us up from all misery, from all fear, from all sin, from all stubbornness of heart, and inability to come to him, to trust in him and to love him. And we pray that he may espouse us more deeply through the Eucharist to the love in his sacred heart. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, holy, holy, holy. Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who hold to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living in truth. The communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, but our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, as holy and venerable hands. And once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you are pleased to accept, the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, Receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, opening abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not bring our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and be so upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you, my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, 
come and lead spiritually into my heart as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. At your feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself and I offer you the, rep the repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your love, the most holy Eucharist. I desire to receive you into the poor dwelling that my heart offers you while waiting for the happiness of spiritual communion, of sacramental communion. I wish to possess you in spirit. Come to me, O oh my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. If we walk in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished, and revive. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping, this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, our refuge and our strength. Look down with favor upon thy people, crying to thee, that the glorious intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of St. Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, in your mercy and goodness, hear the prayers that we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our holy Mother, the Church, the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the souls. Amen. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. O Sacred Lord Jesus, have mercy on us.